Hello and welcome. On the format to Shoutcast. Last we left off, the Dark Horde, who had shown a phenomenal amount of resilience against the Scourge, got his clock absolutely cleaned by the Lich King. Now we've got this sort of running situation. I don't know where Red Felix has gone off to. Huh. Jorlorn's up in the north, just kind of being Jorlorn. Cult of the Damned is going to go help fight against Dalaran. Oh, that's right. They were dealing with the combined Dalaran and uh, Old Gods issue. Where the hell are the dwarves? They're still locked at the gate. They're just trying to hold off against a really non-existent foe. It's weird that Red Felix decided to go south, ignore the massive undead armies that are starting to close in that have already murdered his Dark Horde ally, and just be like, oh, no, that's, that's cool, bruh. That's, don't worry about it, bruh. I got it. And now the combined forces, the Lich King and the Scourge, oh, they're pushing their way into the Blasted Lands, and all the way to Blackrock Spire itself. A massive force. Frostworms and gargoyles fill this guy. Crypt fiends accompanied by Death God, Necrolites, and of course, a nice batch of meat wagons behind that. And that's just the Scourge forces. Lich King's cleaning up the northern stuff. Yellow first, he's still alive somehow. <laughs> Oh, this is bad. Yeah, he's not wrong, though. Only three people have left the game an hour and 11 minutes in. We still have nine players overall. Four of the active of whom are on the uh, undead team. One of whom... Well, actually, two of whom are still Alliance players. And three of whom are on the Burning Legion team. It looks like OJ, Kalithuania, trying to rebuild some of his forces up north. I don't think he has any of his heroes up and ready to go. Oh, he's got Rend. Small force of air units, Proto Drakes are in the sky, but yeah, they're a little bit lacking in the upgrade department. Higher defense, but much lower attack than the Scourge. Nice surround there. <laughs> Sylvanas is trying to target down the Lich King. Arthas Menethil now level 17, and god, he is a beast in combat. No wonder Nukester wanted me to cast this one. Nukester! Is Kylithuida busy taking control points? Yo, e oh, fuck waffles. Alright, this was an interesting decision. Red Felix has decided to betray his allies. He is no longer the Shadow Council. He has become the Syndicate, gaining three heroes and bases scattered around the world. And this is bad. It leaves the Legion and the Dark Horde all by themselves. Now, the cool thing is that, you know, OJ does get Terran Gorfine. That's a nice healing hero. Uh, big issue, though. Let's go ahead and see where Red Felix is. Lord Falconcrest, Aiden Paranold, and Nagaz. I don't know if eventually he'll decide to join the Alliance. Right now, he's part of a rogue alliance team that consists of the Scarlet Crusade, possibly the uh, Gilnean Worgen. Yes, he is actually allied to Gilneas right now, I think. No, hold on. Yes, yes he is. Although, <laughs> it's not saying a lot. I don't think, uh, probably not Bear actually has much going on. He has one hero and a transport ship and a few units scattered around the world and he still somehow controls the dungeons. Cool story, uh, bro. The undead are still winning every fight they come across. Oh no, the forces of the Dark Horde have to run through the Scourge to get out. Jorlorn, what are you saying damn about, buddy? Nothing important's happening to you. Alright, heroes, air units. It's basically his hero squad and a few air units are trying to make it out of here. He, Calithuania, could get on these transport ships and try to get out to sea. But if those frost rigs follow him, he's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, Kalithuania needs to run away from 6-6 six, six upgrades versus 2-6 upgrades. Does give the Scourge a small advantage, and down goes Blackrock Spire. Not much of a defense force able to be mustered. The Burning Legion even loses a number of their units. Sylvanas, did you lose everyone? No, he's got Malganus. Grandmaster Vorpal's joined him. Tychondrius, Balnazar, they're all running, but I think Grandmaster Vorpal's probably going to get his butthole pushed in here. On the long jog. Ah, no, don't fight, just run! Oh, he's being slowed down. No. Oh, the frost damage. He's summoning some units behind him, trying to stay alive. There we go. He's, oh, he drops He drops the Infernals. He's going to keep running. There we go. Grandmaster Vorpal, a powerful little bad boy, actually. Does manage to barely escape. Anubarak has opened up a portal into Ajol Rube for reinforcements. Kalithuania. Let's check his money and see what he's sporting. Not a lot. Damn, burning, le yeah, Legion's in a lot of trouble right now. Unless Jorlorn decides to rejoin the Alliance somehow, I don't see this working out. 
Mind leech, actually. <laughs> this is weird. Ah, but I'm digging it. All right, so the Cult of the Damned is no longer actually the Cult of the Damned. They are now the Ashen Verdict, and they have joined the Alliance somehow. I wonder if him and Red Felix are going to join forces, right? Because Red Felix has to give up Nagaz. He can become the parent old family, rejoining the Alliance. But who's really left in the Alliance other than that? I mean, sure, dwarves technically are. They haven't joined evil, so we could have a three-man alliance team again. Our allies town is under siege. Nukester is... Tr Wait, Iron Eel is trying to get the Forsaken to join the Legion? Oh, there's the mad shit talk going on, basically. He's like, I'll try so hard, I'll murder you. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, Iron Eel's getting talked shit on. Alright, we're down to s eight players. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got Iron Eel, Sylvanas, Sky Penta as the Dwarves, Calithuania as the Dark Horde, Red Felix as the Syndicate, Jorlorn as the Forsaken, Mind Leech as the Ashen Verdict, and Nukester as the Lich King. So, they're about to push into Outland, which... Not that bad. Oh, God. Sylvanas is trying to tower up. Outland, but I don't know. I don't know. It's not gonna go well. And now there's an attack. What? Oh, the dwarves. Okay. Murden Bronzebeard has launched the uh, expedition, the Ironforge expedition to Northrend. He needs to get his happy ass into a Jolnaru. This will allow him to discover his brother, Bron Bronzebeard, and then they can leave, get the power of the old ones, or like. Oh, and before the towering can finish, Sylvanas is under assault. He's still going to spend money upgrading the towers even though they're gonna get murdered. There we go, he cancels the upgrades, good call. Yeah, I think y'all just need to run all the way home. Like, through that Drenner Rift. Because this is not gonna go well. Death Knight's attacking, trying to take out Vorpal, or Terran Gorfiend. And the barracks gets dropped down by Calithuania. Really? Okay. Let's check in on Jorlor and see what he's doing. All he's doing is taking control points in the north. Maybe assaulting the Syndicate soon. Don't know if the Syndicate has joined forces with the Alliance yet. Nope, he's still neutral. He's still Rogue Alliance. And I don't know if he's trying to get a good win here before he switches over or what. But this is a decent fight here. We're going to have five range attack, the range upgrades, four defense versus the three six melee upgrades for the rogue knights and uh, the syndicate again he really needs to back it up make sure that they're attacking uphill oh and be careful about those war zeppelins getting knocked out good war zeppelin micromanagement is essential to kicking the ass all right ashen verdict what are you up to Sky Penta, how goes your assault? Oh, it's going pretty well. He has managed to get Bron Bronzebeard, Murden Bronzebeard there. Now all they have to do is kill off Stormkiller Brundir, get the secrets of the Titans, and then they can get some pretty cool units and extra spells for their caster. Secrets of Uluar, that was it. Alright, major credit to the dwarves for just kind of hanging in there. They should have been dead a long time ago. Gray is pissing me off, he says. I bet he is. Let's go check on Mind Leech and see how he's doing. He's taking back control points from the Forsaken, and now they're going to have to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Two undead factions going toe-to-toe. Ebonblade -to -toe. Knights are very powerful and tanky. 6-6 six, six upgrades for him as well. He's got a decent chance of doing damage, but the sheer number of Forsaken Archers, it's, it's going to hurt. Oh, God. One Ashen Verdict down. Mm, he's not really making a too much of a dent in these Forsaken Archers is the problem. There we go. That's the dent I want to see. He just had some damn siege units. I bet he could kick a lot more ass. He seems willing to stay here and trade blows with him, though. And, uh, yeah, believe it or not, Mind Leech has the advantage. Jorlorn has way more units, but if Mind Leech can get in close and... If he's smart enough to start using healing spells on his Ebonblade Knights, I think he's got this. He has so much money is the frustrating part, right? Like, to see this much money. Uh, there goes the aim. Darian Mograin getting taken down. Shield of the Mountain King. He drops it. Sylvanas Windrunner may be able to pick it up. 
Uh, let's see, Alexander Smograin and Thorison are still here, still pushing in, not using any of his money. I uh, get so fucking frustrating to watch, mind leech, baby. Come on, pick up, pick up, pick up the item you let. Pick up the item you let. Oh, he sees it at the last second. He's trying to get Tharrison to run back there and grab it. Nab it. Get out of there. Sylvanas jumps in, stuns him with the teleport. He wants that item. Oh, oh, he's gonna get it. Oh, he's gonna fucking. Is he gonna get away? Holy dick balls, he got away. Finally uses his death coils. All right, Jorlorn now on the back foot. See, I swear to God, Jorlorn doesn't have the money to compete with him. Nukester saying something about needing to go to Northrend soon. I don't know why. Mind Leech is doing not a whole lot of damage, really. He has, he's taking a few control points here and there. Um, I don't see a significant army. Hey, oh, okay. Mind Leech now turning the tables on Jorlorn. Force back. Almost takes out Nathanos Blightweaver. Please, Jesus, Mind Leech, just put, make just a few abominations, just a few units other than your hero squad, please. He can't handle my aims, he says, yeah, well, okay. It's actually probably a little bit true. He's permanently lost a hero. Tharson is, why? Why is he just letting this shit, why is he just letting these aims happen? Teal's probably doing all he can do to fight you is what he's doing. Um, yeah, Iron Eel is like my least favorite player. He's just constantly rude, and he uses crude language. Let's see where Kalithuania is holding up. Is it at Black Temple? It is! The forces have been split up. Kalithuania and the Dark Horde are going to try to defend the Black Temple. Meanwhile, the Burning Legion in the hands of Sylvanas, he's stuck defending Archimon the Defiler in, like, oh, this is the final Bastion, too. A uh, large number of Infernals now on the front lines duking out 5-6 upgrades. This is a pretty even fight, and the more Infernals that get dropped, the worse off Blue is going to do. That being said, he's still doing okay. Nope. Battles start to favor him, and it looks like Lithuania has abandoned the Black Temple and is going to help his ally in the Nether. This means the blue will definitely be unable to carry that victory, and I need to go back at Mind Leech and see what the fuck he's doing. Oh, losing all of his units is what he's doing. Giving up a massive advantage that he had is what he's doing. Just stupidly throwing units and not spending any of his money is what he's doing. I'm, I'm so confused. Mind Leech has the advantage in this fight. The whole time he's had the advantage. He could be winning this, but he's just, he's just, he's just fucking not. All right, Sky Penta, let's check on you, buddy. Dwarves may eventually leave. How does he have Magni Bronzebeard? Oh, is it Crystal Magni? The Speaker. He's got Bronze, Bron, Magni, Falstead. No, he lost uh, Magni. Sorry, no, he lost Muradin. So he has Falstad, still at level 2, which is really weird. And I think Mind Leech just left the game because he didn't try at all, and then lost, and then got upset. So that's how that's going to work out today. Let's go check out Nukester. He's finishing off the Black Temple, as he said he would. Iron Eel is still in the Nether, now being chased down. I don't know who can poss... Red Felix might be able to dispute something. I wish he'd switched over to the Alliance team a little bit earlier instead of staying as the Rogue Alliance. He could have helped the Ashen Verdict actually win the fight against Forsaken, but he seems determined to be solo. He's got a few bases spread around, but there's not much he can do. I mean, Syndicate's a fun race. I like the idea of Invisible Knights, the Assassins, the whole thing is... It's a fun race if you know how to play, or, you know, keep an eye on the map and know how to where to jump in to make a difference. But he doesn't have any allies. Heaven's dead! Heaven Blade is dead as shit is the answer to that question. Alright, and now it's just going to be the Legion hold up at Archimon, pretending that the world is not ending. Mm -mm -mm. Terran Gorfiend activating his healing aura. Everyone should group up around him when he does that. It's very effective overall. Repairing the fell turrets, which are really, really good defensive structures. Only problem is... Uh, uh, that they actually take up food when you build them. Alright, 
don't get sleep, no. Yeah, I can't beat Syndicate? What? Red Felix, are you actually whooping ass? <laughs> he did. What? Has he already had an engagement and come out on top? There's no way. Jorlorn. Are you, I mean, there's no way. So suddenly Jorlorn doesn't want to go 1v1 against a player he has 600%. More control points then. 600! Irony will take any excuse to go ahead and leave the nether right now. He's like, oh, I'm gonna kill the syndicate? I'll kill the syndicate. Hundred percent, dude! What the shit? Alright, too late. Looks like the syndicate's about to have to face the power of the scourge. Saffron? Can we see a Saffron death? I'd love to see that. Um, no, Syndicate's gonna have a bit more trouble than we expected. Nice use of Anubarak's ultimate dropping some... Oh, those uh, Joel Nauru big bad tanky boys there. I always forget their name. Nerubian God. Let's get it a little bit closer and try to keep an eye on the right people's heroes. Iron Eel. How you doing? Looks like a Anubarak might be in some trouble, and Syndicate may come out on top if uh, Pink doesn't hurry up and get down south. Pink's on his way through the mountains, actually going to stop to take out the base while he's busy. Uh, never mind, Syndicate's having a little bit more trouble than I expected him to, and there goes one hero, two hero. Nagaz is the only hero left. Oh, no. Yeah, Nagaz is the one that's unrevivable. And now the base is dead. Oh crap. Wow, Red Felix. Uh, why did. It's such a weird game. People are not acting in their best interests, is all I'll say. And at the same time, his island base is being destroyed by the Burning Legion, who just wants more control points because he knows he has to defend the Nether. This is the only place they feel comfortable. I'm sure Nukester is still sitting in Outland, waiting for them to come out. Of course he is. Wait. Oh, it's the Black Temple. I was like, where the hell are we now? I think the Burning Legion is the only person who really survives at this point. Uh, I mean, Sky Panda, he hasn't moved. He, I mean, I get it. He's alone. He's the dwarves. He has no allies. But he could have teleported in to help the Ashen Verdict. I don't know. I feel like there was something that could have been done. All right. Some of Blue's forces are getting wiped out here. Your Maj Ascendants, your Mirja. Not quite strong enough to make a difference. Does have a scroll of teleport, Iron Eel does. So he can get up north quickly. Now it's going to be Nukester against the Legion and the Dark Horde for now. Oh, Sylvanas, you do not want to lose your Fell Reavers for no reason, but you will. Oh, yes, you will. Damn it all. Alright, teleport. Oh, God. <laughs> and Iron Eel's here. They're like, well, let's just fucking go home. But I'm going to give him my last Fell Reaver because, God, I hate having these amazing things sitting around for no reason. <laughs> Alright, they're back through the portal. They'll have the advantage on the surround. My God. The number of Necromancers that Nukester's got. And the Legion Zero Deadeyes are pretty cool as well. Not as much damage as some ranged units, but they look cool. What are they still fighting? Oh, Kalithuania lost a number of fire gut ogres. Okay. And Joylorn's gonna join them. Oh, Joy! We call him Joylorn now. All that Nukester cares about is having his shield delivered to him. He's like, if you don't have that shield of the mountain king, I swear to God, I'm gonna kick ass. You better bring me what I want, boy. Remind me why I keep you around, eh? Keep you around. Alright, Outland's a little bit different than I remember. Netherzeem Gateway to Alterac. But instead, it's hanging out in Outland, rather. How many of them are still left inside? Oh! And now Iron Eel is entering. Sylvanas towering up as much as he can. Weird decision to use Spirit Towers instead of more Fell Turrets. I guess because the Spirit Towers don't use food, but I don't think Sylvanas is anywhere near his food limit. No! No, and they're way better! Come on! Chaos damage. Always, always, my friend. Well, they don't have to worry about anyone entering behind them. Unless this Drenner Rift gets used, which... I don't see that happening, Bo. No, Bo... 
the Scourge and the Lich King are going to enter directly through this portal into this choke point where <laughs> the advantage is most certainly in the hands of the Dark Horde and Legion. I'd love to see more upgrades for the Doom Cannon's range damage, but I don't think he has the money for it. So we're just going to have to watch the slow lob shots doing their best. And we're going to go ahead and speed this up to times one. The only advantage right now that the enemy or the undead team has is if they can get as many air units to the front line as they can. Otherwise, this really does favor the Legion. The Legion also needs to be aware of when it's a good idea to go ahead and just pull back. They need to respect the fact that Archimon's abilities are one of the significant advantages they have, and fighting so far away from him is not going to help them. And it's a bit of a clusterfuck at the moment. When you have four endgame players throwing units at each other, it doesn't look good. But right now, the Dark Horde is holding the choke point. Towers are starting to fall down just due to passive AoE damage that's going on. Saffron getting a little bit bold and flying over the land. Ugh, Proto Drake's getting wiped out by the Frostworms now. Heavy armor, no match for the magic damage. And now's a good time for them to back up completely. To Lithuania, everyone back the Furk up. Succubi are a good choice with the ranged chaos damage, however, they're not going to be the solution this time. I think the solution is going to be death, because every single unit that falls, you can see it gets raised as a skeleton warrior. It's just more fodder for the line for the undead. This is like watching the final battle for Winterfell. It's like, oh, how do we win? Well, you, well, you don't, really, unless you can find that, that one unit that if you kill him, they fucking die. And, I don't think there is that unit, except there is, in the Lich King. He's literally the Night King. We have the Night King, Lich King situation going on, and it's just, it's not looking good. I mean, this is the end. Unless the dwarves come out of nowhere with some kind of phenomenal backdoor savior solution. It's just not happening. Jorlorn? Yeah, you want to become, uh, Legion Forsaken, maybe? Falrick's ultimate is like Saffron's, he says. Combine them and we win. Oh, man. There's, like, no chance that they can hold off this undead army now. Here we go. Legion versus undead. So many spell effects going on. I... I do wonder if I just reduced them all, if it would be easier to see what was going on. I mean, a number, not a lot of those effects are all that important right now. Yeah, uh, let's see, hold on, what is that? Burning oil, anti-magic shell, hardened bones. This is no good. The three dreadlords are pushed all the way back. We've got Voon in the back line trying to hold as well. Arkham on the Defiler using all of his spells. Fell Reavers are almost upon, yes, and a big spawn of Nurubian guards in the back line. It's going to uh, push the line even further back for our Legion team. Again, the only advantage they have here are these Fell Keepers, and I don't even know how many of them are still up and running right now. Got at least one and two in the back. These things do massive AoE damage when they strike. There's a third one right here, Fell Keeper still up. The uh, Undead team really needs to focus that because the Fell Keepers in any kind of siege get to target down. Oh, look at the batch of Undead dying right here in the middle. Oh, look at it. Just slowly dying. I fucking love it. There we go. They may hold this just a little bit longer. Fellkeeper appears to have either disappeared or gone down. I'm going to go with down. It's dead, Jim. Captain Falric dies. He is revivable, though. Not ultimately a problem. Dimensional portals are now under assault. The last of the Fellkeepers are getting some shots in. This is the end of the Legion. It's the end of the Nether as we know it. It's the end of the Nether as we know it. And I feel fine. Actually, hold on. Dark Horde and Legion may be able to save this loss off. See, the Scourge and Legion, I'm sorry, Scourge and the Lich King didn't build a forward base. So they're, they're what they have what they have. And as time goes on, Fell Keepers are still up. Hell, hell yeah, at least one of them. And it's getting shots in on the back line, taking out casters as they go. This is perfect. They may be able to hold. Doomlord Kha'Zix now, duking it out with the Lich King. There's only a very small chance that they survive this. And as you, the Lich King is such a massive tank. Toe-to-toe -to -toe with Gargath. Oh, and he raises up more undead units now. And if only there were some dispels to use, they could get rid of those. 
Nice AoE damage and stun coming out. Man, <laughs> dropping more Infernals. Archimon's abilities are not done quite yet. They have to be careful. Arcathus Menethil, the Lich King, is being targeted down now. A great amount of chaos damage could take him out. He's only at half health, of course. A burning uh, Lich King retreats momentarily and then runs back into the fight. Spellkeepers are being ignored for the most part, which is the only reason that the Legion is winning. They're focused so much on killing Doomlord Kha'Zix and get rid of that unrevivable hero, they can't see past their noses. They can't see the forest for the trees. And the Legion's holding, but I feel like Pink's about to come in here and make a difference. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Doomlord Kha'Zix's still alive. Everyone getting healed up by Terran Gorfine's AoEs. And what the Fergally Burks? Nukester! Oh no! Do you think he got the Lich King trapped in the back? Oh no! Blue's got him trapped in the back there. If he doesn't move, the Lich King could go down right now. 1400 health, 1300, 1200, 1100. It's so goddamn close. And Pink shows up the Forsaken just in time to save this. Oh! That was so close. Skypen is watching this happen and isn't giving a shit. Look at that. Just Felbees don't even give a shit about the rest of the army. They just want to kill Arthas. Can they actually do it? I wonder. Oh my god. All the Infernals are now following him around. Some of the heroes are going out there. Come on. You're not going to tell me that they actually take out the Lich King, huh? Come on. 500 health? Who's going to do it? Is someone actually going to kill the Lich King? Because it's the only way the game actually... They win. He's saying, lol, heal him. Okay, someone did heal him. He's got 1400 health now. Uh, the forces of the <laughs> Forsaken are now brawling. Grandmaster Vorpil is the only one still left here alongside Archimon the Defiler. A few Legion units, but for the most part a whole lot of dick all and nothing. Warblade of Archimon's gone, meaning... Er, and Voon's gonna get targeted down and murdered, because Pink has so much ranged and focus damage. Any heroes that get in the way are gonna get wrecked. Oh my god, Nukester, I can't believe you were that close to dying. He goes and buys himself some items, some potions. <laughs> oh, that was ball-crushingly close. Skypenda, where are you? If you had come in at the right moment, if you were watching that, and you didn't help, you didn't even try, laddie. Christ above. Pink's now getting pushed back by the Legion a little bit. Pink's like, I just killed four heroes after the entire army was destroyed and they were focused on killing you and they were doing their last ditch effort. I'm awesome. I took four. I killed four. Shut up. <laughs> okay, Lithuania's dead as balls. Has no money. He's got no buildings. There's nothing he can do. This is just the Legion at this point trying to hold on. It's all up to Sylvanas. God, he's a brave man. Here goes the final assault. The Forsaken will destroy the Lich King. Sorry. Archimon. They're gonna destroy the Legion. Or at least they're gonna try. Oh, and here, with the help of the Scourge, they're gonna do it. Yeah. Just a little bit of tankiness was all they needed. Iron Eel seems to be trying to focus on taking out Malganus and Balnazar, focusing exclusively on the heroes right now. But Cargath Bladefrist raised from the dead back in the hands of the Dark Horde. Syndicate is long gone. And this feels like the final push. Oh, that focus fire on Balnazar. Pink is... <laughs> Jorlorn's just focusing <laughs> entirely on him. And Lich King's back up. Full health front line. It's over. Kargath does his best to survive, but he gets aimed down by the forces of the Forsaken. This is the end, lads. Legion's master gateway is going down. There's nothing left in the tank for Sylvanas. He's done everything he can. Grandmaster Vorpal trying to hold on. Gets aimed down by the Forsaken once again. Oh. The Dreadlords managed to TP out. Says GG and leaves the game. Alright, well that was the Undead's victory. Three-man Undead team there at the end. Two of them betrayed. It was a five-man Undead team. And I gotta admit, if there had just been a little bit more coordination on the Alliance team, perhaps the the uh, Forsaken and Legion, Scourge, etc. They would have had more trouble. But, alright. That was, that was that was a good game. Uh, I'll give them credit. And now, <laughs> the other teams are leaving. 
Skypet is going to be the last one left alive and he's going to say, I win! I was the last one! <laughs> Goodbye, Archimond. <gasps> he's dead. Don't stand where Archimond was. That place is tainted. So that's where he used to sit. Get it? Taint. Anyway. Hey, Nukester's nice. Jorlorn, very polite at the end. I mean, they're the only ones left. Come on, guys. I think they're just gonna call it. There's no more time left, laddie. About an hour and 45 minutes. There we go. All right. Units killed goes to Sylvanas, 932. After him, Nukester with 824. Kill Lithuania with 762. Units produced by a heavy margin goes to the undead teams. Iron Eel and Mind Leech. The sheer number of units they put on the field. It's, it's ridiculous. Overall, I mean, total score, Jorlorn, probably for the number of hero kills that he got. Yeah, if I had to guess, that is. Oh, man. Alright, and by the way, heroes killed 14 for Iron Eel, 14 for Jorlorn, 9 for Nukester. I mean, that's that's a lot of heroes for the undead team. Was it 28? 37? 37 heroes killed by just... And that's not even all of them. 37, 42... 42 heroes killed for the undead team. My god! Alright, everyone, thank you for joining me. This has been the one, the only, the as of the day. If you liked this shoutcast, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe as we will be continuing to go on all the way through Reforged when these games are going to get really <laughs> ridiculous looking. Oh, be sure to check out our second channel, r slash devil's advocate, and until next time, guys, bye.